The proposed site is about two miles off the town of Cape Charles and would accommodate up to 100 ships weathering the worldwide recession. This is just the latest in a series of proposals for such an anchorage in the Hampton Roads area, but up until now, they've all met with stiff resistance from fishermen and watermen who feared environmental damage. The Hampton Roads Maritime Association plans to ask for a permit to manage the site. It's the organization's first entry into the anchorage idea, and executive director Jack Mace thinks it'll fly. There will probably be very little opposition for what we know at the present time. The Menhaden fishermen, uh, have not voiced any objection to this particular anchorage area that we are considering. The Virginia Marine Resources Commission will get the application in January and should schedule a public hearing soon after. May says the idea has some real benefits for the area. Right now, man hours are down about 23 percent, and so maybe we can turn this disadvantage into an advantage, that is, uh, from this recession. There are already two super tankers moored in storage in the area, these just off Craney Island. Their presence off Cape Charles could be a major economic shot in the arm for the community as it provides shore services, a point surely to be argued by those hoping to get the anchorage approved. I'm Terry Zahn, The Daily News.